What's good, everybody? I'm back. Um, this um, flying back. It's good to be back. It's good. It's March, and um, race season's coming up. Big things for 2020 this season. Um, did a lot of things over the winter for my LTZ. I have it set up for 2020 race season. Um, I think I post some pictures on my Instagram. Um, if you want, if you didn't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave that down below. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's check out my 2020 season, my 2020 race season bike that I did. And you guys are gonna like it. So this first, first off, you're probably like, wow, holy crap. But there's things I'm still working on on this bike. There's things I'm gonna put on. There's there's it's not ready yet, but there's stuff I, I needed. I just put it on. So pretty soon I'm gonna do the plastics and graphics pretty soon and power power coating but um yeah it's an ISLTZ it's ready to race for 2020 race season so let's start up here so I had problems with my tires all the time at racing so out Alba hooked me up with some B locks pretty good price only about three hundred forty dollars um, for the front and rear. They hold up pretty good. Also, you see that got me some Elka suspension front and back. It's a state. This is a stage three legacy from the new ones. I didn't get the old ones because I guess they wanted to step up their game a little bit so when i got the bike i had problems with my reverse so over over the winter we took the engine out see what's wrong why the reverse does not work so we found out there was some damage inside of the crankcase broken stuff some of its damage so i spent Two hundred twenty dollars on the new cases. That's not that, that bad for for used ones. So getting brand new ones. So I had a good good deal on that. So the reverse works now. So when I, when I did the the new do the cases, um, how to get new gaskets and all that stuff. The cylinder was still good. The piston was still good. The crank was still good. Um, I think there was something wrong. Something damaged the crankcase. Um, Cause someone repaired the, the bomb in. I think they put new gaskets and stuff. New gaskets. Cause it looked, when I got the body, it had new gaskets on it. So I think someone Something messed up the transmission. I guess they put new transmission stuff into it, and then they, they, they mess. They don't want to want to mess with those cases because they it cost a lot of money. I rebuilt it, the rear end, put new swing arm bearings and linkage bearings on it. So now for the ha handlebars, I went changed different ha grips. I want the ODI Ruger, I think it's called Ruger. Um, had to get a new bar pad cover because the other one got busted. Um, you see, no key up there. It's up here now. And the lights. So I can see the reverse and the neutral and the oil temperature. So I went for Christmas. I got me the Rock Speed dashboard and 
then the hand, hand you gotta have the handlebar riders to put them on so i just realized that really i was putting these on um you gotta have oem bar clamps for using these um handlebar risers for putting these dashboards on because i had aftermarket handlebars so i found these i had i got one for christmas but they were one and one eighths so you gotta have seven eighths bar clamps and a seven slash one eighth handlebar risers the bottom are seven eighths and the top of them are one eighth because i found i found these on rocky mountain atv mc for these because i had to get new ones so if you guys want to do your dash if you want to do one of those dashboard things you got to have oem bar clamps you have aftermarket bar clamps that that's not going to work you got to have oem bar clamps you can see I put new handguards, the tusks that were junk, gave up on on me. So I put these these Sherby's uh, handguards. Everybody rec recommend them to get these because they're pretty good. So the grips, the grips are pretty good. I like them. Sorry about the wind. What else I did to it? Um. Uh, I put I put this on this aftermarket hose thing because I can't get the my stock hose in there at all because it the dashboard's in a way. So I had to get an aftermarket hose. So get an aftermarket um, gas cap. No biggie. <laughs> um, what was I did to this thing? Can't remember what I did to it. <laughs> That's it. Suspension, wheels, new bottom and engine. Like I put a lot of money into it. You probably got it. Oh, I think your I think your parents spend the money on all this stuff. No, the wheels I pay for. I had a. I'm pretty sure I told you guys in one of the videos. I had a go kart. I probably did. I probably cut the video. I had a go-kart and I sold it, bought the new wheels and bought new cases. The suspension, I had a little help. So I got a loan on, sus on the suspension. That, that's the one, man. Um, I paid for the grips, the hand guards. The dashboard was for Christmas, so it was a gift. So I, paid the, I had to pay the new handlebar risers. Uh, the gaskets, I pay for those. Bearings, I pay for those. So the only thing I had help was the suspension. I had a, I got a hat suspension for for the race season because the stock suspension was beating the living the crap out of me. And when I put these Elkas on, holy crap, it made a big difference. Big difference. I'm not playing. It made a big difference. So, I'm trying to remember what I did to this thing. There's, there's, I think there's more stuff I did to it. I think, I think it's it. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so, I, I got this thing cleaned up, ready to go. I took it for a ride today. Yeah. What it feels like. On the suspension, I had a problem, I had problems with it while back. A couple days ago it was on it was idling so high I was like what is going on what's going on with this thing um I'm not talking about I'm not talking about the GoPro so what was on that sorry I try to remember So I think that's it. That's what I did. I did to it. So, oh, we're talking about the idle. Yeah, there was something wrong with my idle. 
It was on so high. I thought it was a carburetor. I thought it was my time chain. So, it wasn't the time chain. It was my carburetor. I found out the freaking throttle cable was stuck open. I didn't, I'm, I didn't adjust it right or something, you know. So, everything works on this four-wheeler. Oh, I've got one thing. One thing. I put a, a steering sterilizer. I forgot about that. I paid for that too. <laughs> it's a good deal. On eBay, about hundred bucks. That's good. That's a good deal. On the Streamline steering sterilizer. So, this is what it looks like for the LTZ 400. You can't have it up front. I tried that. That didn't work. So, yeah, this thing. This thing is awesome. I like this thing. I really do. I tested this. I tested this thing also. I had to, make, I had to mess with it. The little adjustments to it. Mess with adjustments. Right now, I got it set it at four. It's like medium style, because I had it on seven. It was pretty hard to ride, to steer. But while you hit bumps, it does not jerk your hands off. Uh, this is a good deal for this thing. I'm not playing. I think it works pretty good, but pretty soon, people bug the crap out of those things. They like, all oh, got to rebuild them and all that stuff. So right now, I'm running this for now until I upgrade my steering stabilizer for... Something else, you know, but it, it still works still, you know. Um, yeah, that's what I got. It works pretty good. That's one thing I forgot. <laughs> I was like, I forgot I'm pretty sure I forget something. I was like, oh the sound I just saw that, so yeah, I think I put a lot of money and time for this bike to get it ready for race season for 2020. I'm doing the uh the the OXCR again. Well, I'm gonna ride pretty good. Hopefully, we're gonna, we're gonna find a place to ride at so I can get some used to the suspension. I might need to do, do some adjustments on it, mess with it, adjust the spring, all that stuff. But uh, it's all right for me. But um, yeah, I put put a lot of money and time with this bike. It's, it's it's a nice four wheeler I know, but yeah, this is the 2020 race season uh, LTZ 400. Um, let's see, that thing is neutral or not? No, it's not. Okay, let's put it in neutral. Let's start this thing up. pretty good um i got the noise to quiet down i put this star this phone thing um you get this stuff at rocky mountain it's, it's the tusk phone skip plate it will adjust your noise from having the skip plate run rattling on your frame and it works pretty good i'm telling you it's not noisy anymore it was bun the crap out of me when i got the damn bike <laughs> So, yeah, pretty soon. Oh, this. You probably guys know if I bought this at the eBay or ABBA Racing, anything. No, I, um, when I bought, bought the bike, uh, the guy had one of these extra. He had one that was blue. So I took it off. So I took it and, um, sanded it down, painted it. And it looks pretty good. So buy a new one. Oh, I forgot. I put I put my new steering bushing because the one I had was fuck is so gone. You know, it was it was I I had play a lot of play into the steering. So now there's no play at all. 
So, yeah. So, more videos this season. A lot of racing. There's two races we're going to, two racing in our uh, area. We we'll found one on a uh, on my social media. Uh, it's gonna it's called Extreme Cross Country. We're probably gonna hit those pretty. We're gonna hit those in OXR. I don't know. Well, usually we hit we hit we race at the uh, OXR, but whenever it's it's like a long um, a long break for o for our racing, we might hit down a. Uh, the other race, the extreme cross country. So, I think there's a race coming up this Saturday, but I think it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain and it's gonna be really freaking cold. It's gonna be like Friday 46. Cause you know, I don't, I don't wanna go racing in the rain when it's so freaking chilly. I don't wanna get a cold or anything. You know, I'm trying to, trying to be healthy when I get, when the racing starts up again. I think our OXR round one starts around April 11th. That's pretty good. So we need to try and get some practice in for racing. Also, my leather, my little brother stepped up his game. He don't ride the 300X anymore. If you guys watched that, the the, the 2007 Honda 300X uh, with uh, the full FMF Power Core 4. That's my little brother's bike. But he stepped up. He, he stepped off. He stepped off the 300x and went to a 450. That's a big jump. Um, he got himself a Honda, a 2014 Honda 450 quad. It's a quad, not a dirt bike. He don't like dirt bikes, so <laughs> I do. I like dirt bikes, but I'm trying to. Trying to save some money up, but I already spent it all on this thing. Probably got to stop spending money and get a dirt bike then. I said, well, race, I like race season. I got this thing. It's the only thing I got. So, yeah, it's, she's finished. A little bit. It's a half. It's a half finish. Uh, pretty soon I'm gonna do prices and graphics. I don't know what cut because the theme is red and black. That's what I'm going for. That's why you saw red. You see the red, uh, the red bee locks and the red hand guard and the red front bumper grill. The theme is red and black. So I was gonna do red and yellow, or I was gonna do red and white, but now I was gonna do I was gonna do red and black. So. So yeah, so hopefully we're gonna get some riding pretty soon. Uh, hopefully we're gonna do that the uh, state park I told you guys a while back. I got some nice trails there. Uh, it's like about a thousand acres. We're not going there. We will probably head down to my properties. So. So yeah. So, um, give me the likes, comments, and subscribe, and follow my Instagram. So, yeah, more videos, riding videos, racing videos. So, hope you guys don't like him. So, catch you on around April 11th for racing, racing, and we're riding. So, yep, yeah, likes, comments, subscribe. And follow my Instagram. I'll leave that below. And, um... Uh...